Um, they, they have got a very bad habit of beating us of St Albans. They've given us uh, regular spankings in this event, but uh, you never know. This could be our day. It's, a, it's on our turf today, but let me run through those team sheets for you today and do not adjust your sets. This is Hitchin Town. Number one in goal, Brad Shaw. Number two, Enoch Okongo. Number three, Bradley Dixon-Smith. He had a cracking game the other day in a boring affair. Number four was is Solomon Sambu. Number five, Dan Sears. Number six, the return of Connor Roberts. Uh, number seven is player of the month, George Morrell. Number eight is Kieran Forbes. Number nine is uh, Joe Chids. And uh, number 10 is Captain Liam Brooks. And number 11, Dan Stoko. He was our ID net uh, HFC Radio man of the match as well against uh, a hashtag. Uh, and on the bench today, the return of Henry Snee. We've been waiting for this man to come back. Uh, they did find Lewis Barker. I'm not sure where it was. I think it was in one of the skips around the back of Sainsbury's. But uh, he is on the bench today. Um, <laughs> number 15, Jack Dreyer. Number 16 is Toby Syme. Uh, and 17 is the current top goal scorer of Hitchin Town, uh, Corey Wilson. Off, really. It's an impressive start, no, uh, no two ways about it for the Canaries. Here's Chids then, takes the ball down and just gets it nicked off of him, but uh, the, uh, the nick didn't quite work out too well for them and, uh, and they've conceded a, a free kick to Hitch in town then, just uh, approximately eight to ten yards inside uh, St Albans territory. We shall, um, we shall see what we can make of that. It looks like it's going to be... Um, Looks like it's going to be morale coming over to take this one, so it's going to be floating into the box. I can't. Are we getting shorter, or are they just tall over there? But we have got some <laughs> players in the box, but it does look like a, a small bunch. Yeah, there are a couple of short boys in there. And it comes in. That's uh, that's no good. That's flown. That's flown and flown and flown far and wide. Yep, it's gone over everybody. Over everybody's heads, like a lot of my jokes do. Yay! Including that one. <laughs> Here comes St Albans then. All the way back to the goalkeeper. Played out across the defence. Now he's dithering on that. And I'll tell you what, you don't want to do that. It's gone into the back of the net. You don't want to do that when Dan Stoko is coming pressing in. What's happened? Well, no, this is why he got a man of the match the other day. Like, he just he, he works hard, he plays well when he, he capitalises on those kind of mistakes there. This is the kind of thing that you've got to watch out for when you just sort of are too relaxed out of the back and trying to pass out from the back and stuff you can very easily lose the ball in a dangerous position and that's exactly what's happened there mate it's it's that playing out from that back nonsense that i keep going on <laughs> yeah. about and and st albans have just tried a little and they, i just said earlier on they're just a bit too casual and a bit too flaky about the whole thing yeah. you don't want to be doing that hitchin have got their teeth out of course st albans do have some gunfire on the bench ready to bring on but they're coming through now and uh, and the number nine has just picked this up in the in a good position he's got two players around him tries a little flick past and uh, it works. it's going to be picked up by the number three and then dinked over and uh, the, that's nicely blocked out by Connor Roberts that's why I like him you know just stand in the way of the guy let him run into you yeah <laughs> so as long as you uh, as long as you don't get a hold of that ball and uh, it could just bobble off harmless Toby Symes in there and uh, and so is it Congo quite a few so uh, he'll have to do well if he wants to get it over here will ban and in it comes in it's a snidey one across the ground and the number four's hit it and mate oh Alfie pain not again I feel your pain yeah I mean that looked like they practiced that one in the training ground a couple of times that um, you thought he was going to shoot but he just lays it off for pain there and he, he takes a shot and it's just we've got yeah. a player down look he's crawling who's that over the over on the side i think that could be morale as the play continues there's a player down ref and uh, in the end it has been him, it has been headed out and uh, and as they gets headed out a st albans man goes down as well that's just for his laces but um but we have got a, a fella down and uh, i'll let you know exactly who that is down over on that side i think it might be morale the physio's just having a look yep physio's over there Getting back onto his feet, so sort of no Fair play. real harm done. Yep, it is George Morrell. Just getting some of that magic spray. She's got some magic spray and he's getting his leg re-sprayed. You give me that special one, the one that I missed. Yay. But it is St Albans, obviously, yeah, but uh, here they go. 
Uh, cross comes in, and uh, it's in the end, it's a, a lovely, easy one for Brad Shaw. He's getting rapturous applause from the Hitchin Massive. Take your time, Brad, you'll learn to do that one. In fact, you should dive on the ball and just lay down there and look up as if you'd done something amazing. But it was an easy one <laughs> in the end, for sure. He's been brilliant, I think he has. Banton now plays it into Hoddle. Hoddle coming forward, all hitching players are forward. Jack Dreyer's coming back, he might have to take one for the team as Hoddle goes to the side and it's gone into the back of the net from Hoddle. And that really is a punishing blow for Hitching Town. They was all forward in the attack, racing back to try and defend, but it was to no avail. Yes, it's a bit unfortunate there. I think we've uh, committed too many people forward there and we've left ourselves short at the back there for on the counter attack. And uh, that man has just run through everybody there. Um, and it was a little bit, I think, a bit too easy for him to just sort of uh, run through everybody and take the shot off there. Still had to stick it in the back of the net. And I'll tell you what, Brad Shaw was, uh, was diving the right way, but uh, it was just a bit too much. It's going to be, well, Dial standing over there. Yeah, there's a, cu a couple of guys standing over it, but yeah, no, no. In the end, it's uh, Lewis Barker that flicks it in. It's met by a head of a St Albans player. And um, everybody from Hitchin was, uh, was forward. And I said that last time, but we are getting back really quickly now. And uh, we need to as well, because here comes St Albans down that side. What a oh, challenge yeah. that is. And uh, the ref, what's the ref giving a foul for that? <laughs> oh, mate, that's unbelievable. And now here comes St Albans trying to get forward with Chidsu. Chidsu into the middle to Hoddle. Hoddle now, it looks like he's going to pick up uh, Alfie Payne. Alfie Payne takes an instant touch, gets it back as they build forward now. Plenty of men forward in this attack of St Albans. That's a floater into the box uh, and it's met by the, uh, the head of a Congo. Into the number nine now, across the field. It's going to be picked up by the 14, who's going to shoot. And I tell you what, that's hit the crossbar. My word, what action in the last couple of minutes is going on. Chid oh, man, Chindidu's been brought down, and the referee has blown up. This one is going to penalties, so do not go anywhere. Has the referee blown up for full time, or has he blown up for a free kick? Right, so it has, uh, it has been blown up for, uh, for full time. So now we're going to find out exactly what's going on. I think it's going to be pens, actually. Um, so listen, don't go anywhere. We are going to be right back. We'll be right back. Who's, who's left on the pitch? Right, so we've got Brad Shaw. He's probably not going to take one. Enoch Congo, not sure about him either. Bradley Dixon-Smith, uh, maybe not. Connor Roberts, probably not. Morrell might take one. And then Snee might take one. Um, it's not Corey Wilson, is it? It's uh, it's Dial <laughs> nearly flummed again. So Rio Dial might take one, of course. And the uh, the first penalty is now going to be taken. Oh, I tell you what, Shaw went the right way, but it has uh, nestled in to the uh, in, into the back of the net. Roberts, who oh, saved it? Johnson saved it. It wasn't a particularly good penalty. Plenty of noise coming from the um, from the stand. I'm going to crank the volume up a bit. There we go, tucked away again. But uh, we've done really well, and then we just got that stab in the back. Yeah. Now we'll pay the price for it. There you go, Stoko, lovely penalty into the back of the net. And it's the... Uh, it's the number 12, Akinola, that's going to take this. Akinola against Brad Shaw, then. Oh, that was a cheeky, cheeky, rude boy one. Morale it. And he saved it. There you go, mate. I'll tell you what, Johnson, poke me in the eye. The league is where it's at. The league's where it's at. Brad Shaw, then, up against the number 14. Tafari Moore. Yep, and he shoots, it's gone into the back of the net, that surely is it. Yeah, St Albans uh, has run out winners here, Hitchin unable to capitalise uh, on the penalty kick situation. And, um, well, there you go, it was, uh, it was uh, a game that was spun on its head, really, and, um, and fair play to St Albans, they, they've, uh, they've, they've capitalised on a chance and, and they've, they've been clinical with their uh, penalties.